computer. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming to our Get Out the Vote campaign training. Who's pumped about going door to door? Yes. All right, we call it Get Out of the Vote, Get Out the Vote training because that is our goal. We're not out to change anybody's mind. We're just out to get them to vote. And what our research has shown, and it's not our research, it's actually political savants who are smarter than us, is that conversation is very impactful way to get people to vote. Social media less so, spam less so, going on a group outing a little more so, but actually talking with people really works. But you have to actually get to talk with them. What do you say when you talk with them? Voting is a public act. So you could use the information that you know about somebody's voting behavior in any number of different ways. And researchers have studied this and figured that the, and found that, not figured that, found that data has determined that the better way to approach this is with gratitude. If you don't approach it with gratitude, it could be misinterpreted as a shaming or a threat or a bullying. I know you voted. Instead, you open with gratitude. Thank you. Thank you, voter. And our campaign of thanks begins with the people who are viewing this video right now. Thank you for helping Chelsea get out the vote. This only works because of people. You can't do this by remote control. You can't throw money at the problem. Only people listen to people. You make a difference by engaging with others, acting on your values, making it real. So when we tell someone, thank you for voting, we're feeling that. We're not just mouthing a sock puppet. We're saying thank you because we feel the gratitude. Everyone on this campaign voted in 2020. Many of them voted in 2019 and in 2017. The turf lists that all canvassers carry has the voting behavior of every house you'll visit. Our message to those voters is just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing the right thing. Each canvasser in this campaign will pick up a shift and pair up. We only canvas in pairs. That's a best practice that we learn from voters, not politicians. Your turf list and a pile of these beautiful voter guides are the tools that you take with you on your way to, uh, uh, to the houses on your list. We don't go door to door. We go to select houses and we thank them. For every voter, we knock on their door and we thank them. And if they don't come to the door, we write down on the turf list, we visited, they weren't there. After three strikes, only then can we leave them a voter guide with a personal note on it, thanking them for voting. But we don't leave the voter guide. We try to get that personal interaction, that very impactful behavior. It takes a minute or two to make that impact. When you go out on the street, you pair up, you make sure your phone is charged and you're going to be walking a couple miles. So wear comfortable shoes, wear the right clothes. And by the right clothes, I mean, uh, not your Trump shirt, not your bowling shirt. <laughs> you don't have to, you know, wear your tuxedo, but when somebody shows up on your door and you happen to decide whether to open the door or not, help them decide this week, we will not have do the right thing face masks. So when you go out, bring your own face mask. Next week, we will have beautiful, do the right thing, face masks. Um, but those won't be back from the printer yet. Uh, we're gonna have snacks and water at Campaign Central at Timbertown this Saturday and next Saturday. Take care of yourself. If it's gonna be hot, bring water. If you're gonna need a snack, if you're gonna do multiple shifts, you probably will need a snack. Um, and then before you go out, visit m-52.com. That's the do the right thing talking points. Have them in the back of your head. You're not out to change, to argue, to defend, to extol, but you do want to be fluent. And many of those points are capsuled in the voter guide, but the, the full content is there online. For every shift you walk, that's two hour shifts, pick up 50 voter guides. Your turf list is going to have many more voters than that on it. Write your names and your dates on your 
turf list. We have to get those back at the end of your shift. That's part of the research that we're doing with PEG is to get good data from our canvassers on what works. Only visit the voters on your list. If you see someone you know, wave at them, but don't go door to door to door to door. Candidates are doing that. We're visiting the voters that our uh, analytics told us are the ones that are gonna tip the election. And then uh, when you're done, again, turn in those, those uh, voter guides uh, so that they can be reused and turn in your turf list so that the next person doesn't come knocking on the same door. Here are the 11 turfs of Chelsea. Um, they originally were only green voters, which were voters that uh, had voted infrequently. We have included the yellow voters, the adopted, uh, unadopted voters. These are folks who have never before voted in a Chelsea election. But every single voter in your list has voted in 2020. And that's what we're doing. We're thanking them for voting in 2020 because two out of three Chelsea voters voted for Biden and Harris. Uh, a big turf like Turf 11 covers a lot of ground. You can drive, <laughs> you know, hit it in, in waves, you know, do the north part and then the south part. And then you've got a little tiny turf like uh, Turf 8, Fieldstone, happens to be where uh, candidate Kate Huron lives. Fieldstone is very dense and there's a lot of green voters in, in Fieldstone. Why? Because they haven't lived here very long. In two hours, you'll walk a mile or two. If you're a talker or a slow walker, you'll hit 30. Our goal is 40. 40 get out the votes in two hours means that this election is within our grasp. But we've got some gunners here who really can, can beat the, uh, the forecast that's given, your goal, if you're a stretch, is 50 voters in a shift. And that's 50 encounters, not 50 door knocks. You can do this. We know, because voting is a public act, who belongs on this list. On the list, you'll see that some of them are blank. These are our yellow voters, the ones who've never voted in Chelsea before. Otherwise, it'll say which Chelsea elections they voted in. Either way, we say thank you. We know from behavioral analytics that everyone on our list is likely to support the do the right thing candidates. We know this pretty good, not 100%. This is behavioral analytics, it's soft science. Why did they vote in 2020? Maybe they were new in town. Maybe they're first time voters, they're young people. Maybe they were politically activated voters, folks who've been living in Chelsea a long time and suddenly decided to vote. Don't shame them for not voting. Make them feel important, important enough to vote. Here's where we're gonna break up into pairs. I'm gonna pause the video recording and we're gonna do a little rehearsal. I'm gonna leave this script up on the screen. You don't have to follow it, but nobody goes out on the street without having to actually practice an encounter here. And so I'm gonna ask because Donald and Diane are together, if they practice with each other, Laura and Susan, you can uh, actually, I'll do all the pairings after I turn off the camera here. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause the recording. Welcome back. Was that a fun rehearsal? Yeah, that was great. All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, so this, this act of trying to do a thing before you do it is what high performing canvassers, high performing politicians, high performing uh, jazz singers, everybody rehearses in order to get good at what they do. Whoops, there we go. Chelsea voters just got absentee ballot applications. 2,100 of them went out this week. Mm -hmm. Folks who want to vote by mail, and in, in Michigan, we don't say mail-in ballot, we say absentee ballot, but it's the same thing. Uh, they can apply to receive an absentee ballot uh, and in the voter guide is a link to do that. It's actually m-52.com slash ballot, and that's your ballot application. You receive it, you uh, return it to the clerk, and uh, there's any number of ways you can return it. Uh, you know, you can email it, you can mail it in, you can take a picture of it and, and uh, uh, send the picture. But uh, the response the clerk has is to send you your ballot. Now, here's the key here. No one is allowed to touch a ballot except a voter. 
So we can, uh, nobody on this list needs to be registered, though they may ask about voter registration. That's another whole task. But applying for and uh, uh, applying for a, a mail-in ballot, we can help them with that. Once they get their ballot, they can drop it off at one of two different drop boxes at 305 South Main, uh, the city offices. They will be collecting ballots until 8 a.m. on election night. Or you can mail it in, but the way the mails are, you might want to allow a week. So do the right thing voter guide that you're going to be uh, distributing to all of your uh, canvassed voters has all of this information in it. A uh, very few voters actually vote in person. Uh, according to our city clerk, they don't use precincts one and two in Chelsea, the usual uh, east side of town, west side of town for city elections. They only use those on even years. In odd years, precinct one is the walk-in voters and precinct two is the mail-ins. And it's again, two to one. Precinct two is much bigger than precinct one. All the ballots go to the precinct to be counted. They don't get counted at the clerk's office. So that's just procedural. That's what happens on election day. But if all else fails, you can go to the precinct, which is at the Washington Street Education Center, 500 East Washington, all the way up until 7.59 p.m. on election day, register and vote. That's Michigan law. We can encourage people to vote. We can coach them how to vote. We can educate them how to vote. We can cheer them on how to vote. But they got to do it. That's not us. Any questions? I'm going to turn the uh, video off now. Thank you, video watchers. Looking forward to seeing you on the streets. Thank you.